and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh and a reviewing one week of trading options using the Golden Gap system. People always ask me about trading options with my system. You learn the system in the Golden Gap course, but you don't. You can sign up for the newsletter standalone product. It's six thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars a year, four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars for six months subscription. You do not have to do the class to join the newsletter, but I think it's helpful if you do the class. Uh, very, very helpful if you did the class. And so we're reviewing this here. And this is an advanced trader risk per trade of $8,000 on average. So the total profit's 91325 There's still three trades on left that I'm waiting uh, to see what happens to them. And one looks really good this morning, so I could get out of that today. We'll see if it goes. So again, I can't lose this week, no matter what now. So I'm in three things. I'm not doing anything else. Um, it's a holiday week, and we had a good week considering the fact that it was a holiday and was concerned about the volume in the market, but we, had, we, we were in the right things. If you're interested, you can always watch me on TV. I appear in every channel. If you have questions and you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course or the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissathestockswish.com, or you can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So I am doing a huge July 4th package that ends on July 4th. Great package where if you sign up for the Golden Gap course combo, which is $7,999, you will get the Golden Gap course into trends. Now, the special package for July 4th will give you the Gap Options course, the Wealth Manifestation course free, and the Trading Room Options newsletter and the market report to the end of next year. That's the end of 2025. This is huge. This is a comprehensive package with all the subscriptions until the end of next year and classes a great offer do not miss it and again the support system of being in the live room every day is just invaluable and i think a lot of people need that when i talk to people one of the main things that they always say is that they need a support system well i'm offering it classes subscriptions rooms getting my trades getting all of my trades to the end of 2025 what people want is good calls and again, this gives people an opportunity to stick with the program and not feel like they have to quick, 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 make the money back. And then to renew or something. If you'd sign up, want to stay in the room of the options letter, you don't have to renew to January 2026, which is so long away, so far away. And again, the idea is that you take your time, learn it. I get that people want to quick try to make it back. But the idea is to learn a system you can use for the rest of your life. And, you know, there was a huge trade that I called in the last week where people actually made the entire cost of the tuition back in one trade. So I don't think people should worry about that. It's the idea of learning it, but you can make the cost back of the tuition in one trade. So let's talk about what we did here. 15 trades, 11 winners, four losers, zero break even. Again, I still have three on, we'll see what happens. Win ratio is 73% and trader profit so far, 91,325. This is an average risk of $8,000 per risk per trade. Here is the apple. We did the apple here. Again, nice little one here that worked right out of the gate. Stock close here, gapped up, rallied. We did the 220s. Again, the newsletter comes directly to you in your inbox. You do it when you get it. Um, it was cheap. $1.40, sold at 325 went the same day. I love when that happens. Return on investment was 132%. Good trade. In and out. Chunk it. Chunk it out. Again, you do not need an options account, in a, a cash a margin account, in order to do options, you can open up a cash account. Your broker will allow you to do that. You have to have it set it up correctly. And then you can open up an account with as little as $2,000. Of course, you have to size yourself with a beginner size for something like that. This BA here was a bugaboo. We did two BAs. One I made money and got out. The other one I put on with a lower strike didn't work. Uh, this was Friday. No, this was the Tuesday. This was the week of the Juneteenth. Yeah, this was a weird week because we had off in the middle of the week that week. Stock close here, gapped up, open, dropped, gapped down here, got out of the 175s, and that was here. Went through the strike, booked the money, made 50%, and that was a decent trade to do, but then I did the 170s, and that didn't work. This lost completely, it lifted. So I let it go bust. When I take a trade, it's win or lose for me. Now you could have killed it, but actually I just want to show you here what this did. It just completely went boom, boom. In here it looked like it was going to do something, but then it didn't. So this is one to watch actually for earnings season, which is early on. 
The video didn't work for me. This was one of the losers. Stock close here gapped up. And we did the 140 calls and it never went right. Fell, fell, fell. Lost in this. That's another one to watch. Baba, we did the 74 puts. This took a while to go, but then it finally went, went, went. Again, this trades in another market. We did this on the 21st. It was a rinky dinker, but it went. It was a slow ride down. In fact, I don't even know what this ended up closing out that day, but this broke. 74 and went so we did the 74 puts again if i call it in the morning in the pre-market you do the trade into the open so again 100 percent was a good trade solid trade just took a little bit longer than i would have liked but it was profitable then we did the test of 185 calls and i could have even held this longer but it was a good trade 21st here stock close here gapped up we did the 185 calls boom took off like a rocket Again, got out here in this beautiful bar, but if you held it the last day, you actually could have gotten it over 200, which was insane. Could have made more money holding it the last day. I didn't do that here because I, I wanted to book it. Called this Friday the 21st. 325 was the cost. Sold to 150, huge trade. Again, you could have made more. It's just crazy what this has been doing. Profit was $20,625. Again, beautiful trade. Great trade. Went long tests. I've been loving this. 254% return investment. Then we did the Q's. This Q's just did not follow through. We did this on the 24th. And it didn't follow through. And actually, I was up a little bit in this. Actually, I don't remember where I was up. I was up. I wasn't up enough to get out, but I was up in this. And then it went bust. And I was hoping it would fall the last day. It didn't, so... That's another one to watch. Then we did the 190 Tesla calls on the 24th here. Stock close here gapped up, started to go, and then boom, took off like a rocket. Again, that same day, the 26th, you could have made even more if you held it the last day, which is crazy. But it was 220%. We got in and early, and it was good. This is beautiful. 250, sold at eight. Again, $19,250 profit with an 87.50 risk. And if you held it the last day, it went over 200, crazy. Then we did the spy puts again with the cues. It didn't work. I liked it. I loved it. It didn't follow through. Lost in the spy. Then we did, for this week, we did a couple ones. Called this on 626, WFC. Uh, this, was, this was decent. These banks are sometimes difficult to trade as options. Why? They don't go as big as you want them to, and I'm aware of that. So I get out of these pretty quickly when we do. They're still money, still profitable, uh, but sometimes they just don't go as big as you want. So stock close here, gap down, rallied, then gap down the next day, boom, on the 27th. So we did the 57 strikes, went down in there, broke it. Again, these banks are 50% is a good profit in these banks the way that they're, they're cheap. So the one benefit is they're cheap, and they have tons and tons of volume. And yes, they move, but again, for whatever reason, the price of the option just doesn't seem to move as much as the stock. But it's money, and I liked them, and we did them. BAC was another good one. You could have held this a little bit more. It went down further the next day. I got out of it the same day. I thought it was a good trade. We did the 39 puts. Cost 45 cents. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. I don't know if it was worth the 27th, but it was worth more. Got out, made 70%, was happy with that again. And then we did the 200 Tesla calls, another beautiful trade that we did that you could have stayed in completely insane. This actually was at 231 yesterday, and you still could have been in this trade. And I didn't look at what it was up, but I did it here on this day and got out of it here, and I thought it was a good exit. Again, we did the 200 calls that you could still be in. This, I don't even know. This was, this would have, I should look this up today, actually, to see what this was worth yesterday. I'm sure it was insane. But you could have held this trade and the stock ran up more than 30 points through this strike. I got out of it. I wanted to book the money. I wanted to book the money going into the weekend. Again, it was a good trade. It was almost 100%. Made $8,500. Was very happy going into holiday week. But this trade probably was worth, well, I know it was worth over 30. I don't know. It, it, I mean, again, you got to book money when you're in stuff. You can't hold everything to a piggy target. This is another one I get out of that kept going. I, I was booking money all week, but this kept going too. This came all the way down to here. This broke 130. And again, I wanted to get out of this before the weekend too. Uh, we did this on the morning of the 27th and made a dollar, was happy. 
this kept going. I don't know what this is worth. I'm sure this was almost 100%, if not over 100%, if you held it down. And then we did the Apple calls. This was this had the move um, yesterday, which I was happy about as well. We did the 215s, and it flew up there. Uh, this was another nice trade we did last Thursday. Made over 100%, was happy with that. Was happy with that. And then we did, of course, this phenomenal trade, which is the one that you still could be at the 200 since this. I mean, it's just crazy. But anyways, I did this out to next week, but I got out. There's no way you can stay in this when you're up this much money, and I got out of it when it was a good exit. Uh, we did this on 628. We did the Tesla calls, gapped up here, shot up like a rocket here yesterday, ran up to 231, an insane trade that everyone made gobs of money in. We did it last Friday, and that was early. And again, technically, you could still be in it, but I, like, I can't see why. 381% return on investment. You must book money when you're up that much. It had the gap up. It was a great trade. Again, the 200 calls was probably, uh, it was even bigger probably than this. But we just have been hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And it's important to get out of trades. It's important to not let the money go uh, uh, away from you. Because again, going into Friday with the unemployment number that's coming out Friday morning, you don't know what's going to happen to the market. Nobody does. But this was a good trade. And I don't think this was expensive. But we did it out quite a bit. 540, sold at 26, great exit. 381% return investment, profit 30,900. Great way to go into the July 4th weekend and very happy about the week. But again, how did I pick all these calls? Using a checklist, using the Golden Gap rating system, using the checklist to determine the directional bias for the gap of the stock on the day. And is it gonna have a big move? The main class I teach once a month is the Golden Gap. We focus on shorts as a class on shorting. And again, the week's totals here was 325. So again, 15 trades, 11 winners, four losers, and zero break even. So like I said, I'm in three things. Yet, ironically, they're all puts. <laughs> so we'll see. And one is gapping down this morning. And if that sells off today, I will get out of that before the holiday. So I would love to make more than 100 grand here by the end of this week. We'll see. The two other puts... I'm down in, but if the one thing I'm in goes, those two are gonna go too. So, it, you know, when you're in options, and again, you see here, we're doing a mix of calls and puts. Some were calls, some were puts. And right now, I mean, it's just kind of ironic when we're talking about the market where we're at right now, it, it, you can't just do everything in one direction. You must learn how to do both directions you must know how to do one both directions because if you don't, you're gonna end up losing. Because one thing that I find interesting right now about this market, despite the fact that it's been very bullish, and, and you see, we did some shorts in the market and they lost, I get it. Do I think the market keeps climbing? I don't know, I really don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. And one of the things that's indicative to me, again, particularly about this market is, everything is not trending up. And that tells you a lot. For me to be able to short certain sectors, for me to be able to go long other ones, okay? Like we, we were short these banks and they were nice trades. That really makes you question, you know, how long this market extension is gonna to continue to the upside. I mean, we, we're in an election year, I get it. But the reality is you have to be able to short and go long. We've done that in the room and we've also done that on the options newsletter. So. 91,325 for this week. My week isn't over. We'll see where we go, but I can't lose for the week. So even if all the three trades that I'm in left go bust, I'm still had a good week, still up for the week. So again, learning the system helps you make good decisions. It helps you stay with trades that are down, giving them a chance to work. It helps you hold things sometimes a little bit more. Again, a part of me is like, why didn't I hold that one Tesla 200 call? But I was up a lot of money in that. And when you go into a weekend, you don't know what Monday morning's gonna bring. And that's kind of how I feel about this week too, particularly with the holiday. But we have a big number Friday. So the market could move Friday morning in the gap. Again, I don't know if it's up or down, but it could have some movement in that morning period on the 5th. Anyways, next week, earnings season begins. I'm very excited about that. It's a very profitable time to trade. You've got to get your year on track before it's too late. If you've been trading, if you 
have been losing, um, or if you're not up at all, you're pretty much just wasting your time because you're trading and not getting anywhere. You've got to get your year back on track before it's too late. So in reference to, again, what I do particularly here with options, you don't have to learn the Golden Gap to trade on the newsletter. You can just sign up for the newsletter. You can go to the website, email me, sign up. But I really think that learning the system helps people, particularly with options, the way that I'm trading them based on momentum. That's how we got those calls in Tesla. I tend to be in trades early. Like even the one I'm, I, I'm in right now, I'm talking about today that I'm still in, I, I was in that early. I could have waited a little bit. But you don't know when it's going to have exactly the second it's going to have that monster move. So you got to be in them. Again, you got to be in it to win it. And I think that people need a plan of action to make their dreams come true. Whatever that happens to be for you, particularly if you want to trade on the side, if you want to do this part time, fine. You still have to learn how to do it. You're going to lose money. If you want to make money, even if it's working an hour a day, you got to learn a system to help you do that. Or you got to follow someone like me that knows what they're doing. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. You can be anywhere in the world and trade it. You will learn in the Golden Gap class the entire system on how to trade. And again, the class is next weekend. Gosh, that's crazy. Well, not this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, July 13th and 14th, right at the beginning of earnings season. So it's perfect timing. This is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks at our professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Class tuition is $6,999. That's the price that everyone pays. The combo I'm doing is $7,999. And again, the package for July 4th is huge because it gives you all these classes, a comprehensive education, plus all the subscriptions. Don't miss out. It's a good time to trade because it's earnings season. Will we have another massive, huge trade like Tessa at almost 400% return investment? I'm sure we will because it's earnings season. And that wasn't even an earnings gap. But I, I read that chart really really very good i'm up i'm upset with myself for not getting in that in my retirement account i debated it and i just thought about it too long so um and now like i said with the holidays i'm not doing any new trades today and i'm definitely not doing any new trades friday i'm playing out here when i'm in and then back at it monday full court press going into earnings season and we're gonna have a good month so ready we, we already started out the month huge so if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a great, safe, happy, healthy holiday, everyone.